Hey guys, this is my 2023 annual reflection. This has been a really good year, you guys. I feel really grateful. Not only has it been strong and productive, I learned a lot. I think this year has been a year of healing. So in the beginning of the year, I really kept to myself. I was all about eliminating social media, eliminating distractions, uh, so I can focus on my work. Gradually, throughout the year, I started to open up and I started to see the value of connections, the importance of letting people into my life, and seeing other people not as a distraction or liability, but rather as an asset. There have been so many people that have helped me this year. That's what this video is going to be about. Towards the really beginning of the year, I started to get massages. And this was a big deal for me because I was still kind of like in the COVID, uh, social distancing thing. I, I wore a mask to the massage. I was a little bit antsy about someone touching me and COVID and that kind of stuff. But eventually I started to get a little bit more comfortable. That was kind of my gateway, gateway to the outside world, to, to people again. I also started going to movies by myself. And when I was watching, I think it was the Spider-Verse, I bumped into this other dude and he introduced me to this meetup group called SoCal Asians. And since I joined that meetup group, man, I've met so many friends. I've been out so much more. I've had a social life and this has helped me so much mentally, emotionally, physically as well, getting like the exercise and stuff. This is very cool. We, we wish you a Merry Christmas! Christmas. Oh my God. Um, it's been immensely healing and um, I can't say how much <laughs> this has benefited me. It was really great to kind of meet people similar in age, mindset, and stuff. And um, yeah, it's been help. It's helped me so much. Also, another huge thing are the like exercise classes. So I started taking some exercise classes nearby, starting doing yoga, going to some yoga studios, doing like their two week passes and stuff. But what really, the home run was really this fitness class at Santa Ana College. Um, and that's where I started to make a lot of friends. And it wasn't just a workout class, I got to build relationships with people, you know? And that was really cool. Eventually, we even did stuff like play pickleball together. We did a little bit of archery. I think that has been one of the things that have benefited me the most mentally, but I kind of like worked myself up there uh, one step at a time. Um, yeah, I also signed up for class, class recently for, uh, for even more classes and stuff. This year, I also met this spiritual guide. Her name is Renata, who, you know, shout out to her. She's also, um, like a spiritual energy healer person. So I'll have her website here, but um, she has been helping me keep grounded this year, every step of the way. So definitely um, thank you for the universe, you know, sending someone my way. I think a big breakthrough this year is allowing myself to spend money on myself. Not like exorbitant amounts of money, but like if I want to buy a shoe, you know? <laughs> If I want to buy a pair of shoes or take a yoga class or buy a burrito or some food, you know, I try to not let myself feel bad. I'm doing pretty good on out school, not as good as last year. I'm doing about maybe 10% less, but I still got 90% left, you know, see the glass as half full. So it's, it's been a good year. Um, couple of new classes, just a little bit, including the level three figure drawing class, the marker rendering class has been good. The digital painting class has been good. Also got the fantasy art camp. I think a huge notable development, a huge theme in 23 were the ancestral tenants. Sleep, eat, move, shield, connect, cold, sun, fight, and bond. So I've been very intentional about stepping on grass more, going outside, getting sun, sleeping earlier, and, and most importantly, I think bonding with friends and family. That's definitely something I've been lacking these last couple of years with COVID and the quarantine and everything. Um, also did some meditation classes this year, trying to develop that habit again. Um, went to the Korean spa and that was really fun, a nice retreat for myself. Got a new monitor for my setup, upgrade things a little bit. YouTube has been okay. It's definitely been developing. I spent a lot of my time on this art careers video. So many months, so many hours. 
and honestly, it did not do that well. But just recently, the algorithm is picking it up a little bit more. So who knows? Maybe it'll end up doing good. I've had some videos that at first did not do good the first couple of months, and all of a sudden it kind of picks up.、Um, the marker video is just doing pretty good, and I had a variety of YouTube shorts with、uh, varying levels of success. Been learning Vietnamese. Okay, that's been a huge thing. Where I basically paid someone to talk to me and be my friend, but you know I realized it was so much more than that. It started giving me confidence because I could go to my friends in the meetup group and speak Vietnamese. I started using Duolingo and became a daily habit, and it kind of strengthened my brain and got me to do something that was uncomfortable and new. And I want to keep doing uncomfortable things, get outside my comfort zone, and, and get stronger and more resilient that way. Um, also been doing a lot of archery this year. Started picking that up at this company retreat with my dad, and then started doing archery by myself, and that has been so fun. Ooh, we just got a bullseye! Check that out. Yes. So conclusion, I feel like this year is starting to conclude me mourning the pre-COVID life that I used to have in Florida. I feel like I'm finally starting to step into the present. I'm surrendering to where I am right now, and I'm allowing myself to live my life. 2024 goals. I want to keep moving forward. So one of my goals is boxing. This has always kind of been my dream.、Um, I think I want to start doing it this year. I, I'm in much better physical shape. I want to do marketing,、uh, improve my marketing of my classes.、So、I want to read Alex Hormozzi's book. Maybe I can allocate like 10% of my budget to some marketing and. I can learn and improve my business that way. And number three, I want to learn more of the AI stuff. So I want to spend at least you know 20 hours on each topic: boxing, marketing,、uh, AI, and maybe I want to learn a little bit of、uh, coding and 3D modeling as well. Ultimately, this year is doing a lot of new things. I want to stay humble, keep learning, and as I learn, I'm going to become more confident. Yeah, I just feel. I feel very grateful. This year has been great. It's not what I expected, but、um, definitely what I needed. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.